everyone. Welcome to this last section of 3.5. I'm on page 276 if you're playing along at home. And so we're going to look at some applications. And you have a table in your book that I went ahead and filled in for you. So you might want to pause the video. Write these words down. So we've, we've seen tables like this before, right, for other word problems. So now we just need to update this so that we know kind of what words indicate which inequalities. So pause the video, write those down, um, and then hit play when you're ready to keep going. Okay, so we're going to go on to example six now. Sarah wants to run more than 25 miles this week. So far this week, she's run 12 miles. What are the possible number of additional miles she will run? So if you use that table, you'll see that more than will indicate the idea of greater than. So we want to be greater than 25. That's what this more than here means. So, so far this week, she has run 12 miles and she, we want to know what are the possible number of additional miles she will run. So we want to give her credit for that 12 mile starting point. And we don't know how many more that she's going to run this week, but we want to make sure that it clears 25. So here's the way that this is going to work, where x is going to be the number of miles. And so now this is all I have to solve. And, and for these, you don't have to worry about the interval notation or, or anything like that. So um, she will have to run 13 miles, or really more than 13 miles, to clear 25. So that's the idea behind that one. The table up above. So he can spend no more than $41. So our table tells us that that has to be less than or equal to 41. So this means really no more than $41. He can't, right? So there's that no more than kind of built into that. Now, the cost of the boat is $8 an hour, but then we also have to take into account that there's a coupon. So I've got, I, I don't know how many hours I can rent the boat for. We're trying to figure that out. but. To model $8 per hour, that would be 8x. And then how do I represent the coupon for $7 off? Well, then I would just subtract off 7. And so now here's the actual inequality that I need to solve. So I can go ahead and I can add 7 to each side. And so then I've got um, 8x is less than or equal to 48. Divide each side by 48. And you get that x is less than or equal to 6 hours. So he cannot exceed six hours that is the the so six hours or less okay and now we have just one last example here heather wants to rent a truck there are two companies she can choose from which have the following pricing structures so you can see the two pricing structures and it says for what mileage will company a be cheaper than company b so we want to know when is company a less than company b so what I want you to do is pause the video and just try to model this on your own and then hit play when you're ready to check your answer. So company A we know is just $127. It's just a flat rate, right? So it's $127 to rent from company A, but company B has a different pricing structure. It's an initial fee of $55 and then it's 90 cents for each mile. So that's what I have to actually represent here. So now I have to go through and, and kind of work on solving this. Well, as usual, I can go ahead and move my decimals. Now notice that 0.90, I could just write this as 0.9, and that might actually be a little bit better in this case. It's fewer things to move. So I got rid of that zero. I'm going to move this decimal, and then I'm going to move all of the other invisible decimals that I don't see, and I'll fill in zeros. So now this problem becomes 1,270 is less than 550 plus 9x. So now I can subtract off the 550 from each side. And I get 720 now is less than 9x. Divide each side by 9, and I get 80 is less than x. Or if I want to rewrite that, x has to be greater than 80. So for what mileages will company A be cheaper than company B? So this is what we were trying to figure out. And so what this means is um, when you drive more than 80 miles, it's cheaper. 
Okay, and that'll cover it for this video. So thanks for watching. If you have any comments or feedback for me, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.